Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Today, oh, I kind of went, I kind of went, I went, I went down on that. You're going, glug, 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 down. Anybody that can tell me that reference gets plus 1,000 nerd points. All right, guys, these unassuming baggies are full of some of the best miniatures out there. It's by Creature Caster. Uh, I have two spider demons, a vulture demon, and a pincher demon. Now, I don't know why the pincher demon is, oh, it's PNC. Okay, got it. I thought it said DNC. I'm like, well, how is that, you know, a thing? So we're just gonna take a couple looks at, look at them. Take a couple looks. All right, so this is a pincher demon. And see, just go to the creature caster site if you wanna know what these look like together. So uh, yeah, this figure is absolutely stunning. In fact, let me get, let me get a little closer to that. There we go. Whoa. All right, there we go. Look at this head. It's amazing. So it's a, it's a it's a female figure. There we go. Oh, just I I cannot wait to paint this. I'm going to paint it for my D&D game at Valhalla, maybe. Um yeah, and she's got like all these sort of talons on her back and it's it's all very crab like which is one of the motifs of the Slaneshi demons. Although this figure could be used for lots of different genres. It's not officially for, uh, of course, Games Workshop genre. So anyway, this is a, it's an awesome figure. Comes with this really cool base. Uh, I'm naturally going to mount it on a regular square. You do need to use this base, though, because the legs go up in like a certain height. You know, but I mean... Jeez, that's just, that's just awesome. Okay, let's take a look at this pincher demon. This makes me happy. I, uh, quite frankly, I don't know which is my favorite. And uh, again, I made a creature caster video, uh, you know, for this. And, oh, oh man, just the detail is so good. It makes me happy inside. And this has a cool head. Again, it sort of evokes like the old uh, classic, again, these are not produced by Games Workshop, but uh, they do evoke some of the imagery of the old Games Workshop demons. So, and quite frankly, these are, these are just, these are just plain done better. You know, you don't see many Slaanesh um, armies out there. Slaaneshi, I guess. There we go. Yeah, that's great. These pieces are obviously, so when they cast them, let's say it comes, the, the resin comes down this way. If it comes down too far, it starts to, there starts to be like an air bubble that gets compressed and eventually the compression can become uh, stronger than the injection of the resin. So they have to have these channels to sort of release. Actually, I think this is the way the resin comes in and this is the escape. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Great detail on that. Look, let's look at the body. I mean, this thing, this thing is, this is beefy. That's good stuff right there. And squared off so you can't possibly put it in wrong, you know. We could just break that off. By the way, that was su super not pro to do that. You should definitely clip those off and then file them down or, uh, you know, use a finer tool to get them down. So there you go. All right, so there's that guy. Now let's look at the Vulture Demon. I love this one. Oh, and by the way, I want to give you a sense of scale here. So I brought out this 25 millimeter figure. Let's see, is that right? Where are we? There you go. So that's kind of how big that guy is. He's, he's, he's pretty huge. All right, and then the Vulture Demon. Love this figure. Love, love, love it. So nice. So here's the wings. They have like these pock marks in them. Just so cool. Oh my gosh, am I focused right? No, that's totally out of focus. Sorry, guys. There we go. Let's uh, get some. Oh, there's the head. I was like, uh-oh, we might not have a head here. Yep, there you go. Looks like everything's there. Yeah, really cool sword. This obviously would be a Lord of Change. I'm going to be using it as a Vrock demon. Like a, oh, there you go. Sorry, I was kind of off kilter there. 
I'm going to be using it as a type 1 vulture demon or a vrock from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Just, and the poses are so dynamic, so evocative. It's, the, guys, this is just really, really, really cool stuff. I mean, ah, uh, so fantastic. I quite, really, I just, I couldn't be happier. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. And uh, definitely go check out Creature Caster.